Well, it is graduation day for a group of inmates at Norfolk City Jail, but instead of a diploma, these men say they're getting a new lease on life. These inmates graduated from a substance abuse recovery program. It's an issue that affects many men and women behind bars in Norfolk. Tenure size Gina Arevalo spoke with some of the graduates. Gina. Right, the program is designed to keep inmates clean so they don't end back up in the system, and it's the first program of its kind to be offered here in the state. The men who graduated today say this milestone is the start of a new chapter. Today is a special day. It's not your typical graduation ceremony, but a big accomplishment nonetheless. I see the gleam in your eyes. I've seen the transformation. You've taken every little bit. About 80% of inmates in the Norfolk City Jail struggle with substance abuse. But today, these men celebrated their commitment to beating that statistic. I feel great to you know, do, do, finally do something to achieve, you know, finally be able to do something that's positive. Rodney Wright and his peers went through three months of counseling for substance abuse, mental health issues, and behavioral therapy with the goal of staying clean and staying out of jail once they're released. Be a better person, you know, for, for, for myself and my family. Just to get my get my get my act together, you know. This program has helped me out in a tremendous way. Um, it's helped me deal with some things in my past, you know, things I didn't really know that were there that were dark places in my life. Some good times, we had some painful times. But each week brought them one step closer to their goal. Travis Blunt. It's given me some tools that I could continue to practice the rest of my life and um, be a good father and a role model to my kids. And for the staff, this moment is just as rewarding. So many of these people, the women and the men, have never been told they've been proud of. Once they meet their goal, you know that you've help somebody along the road and there's no better feeling to me. Now once these inmates are released, they're given information to connect with other recovery networks and they're also encouraged to reach out to the program coordinators for continued support. Gina Arevalo, Tid on your side.